everyone, Bobby D here again, and thanks for checking back in at the BS Zone. I've got the Gen 6 ZX-10R back from the dyno. Now I had this bike go back into Hoffer Performance for a revisit, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about when this bike originally went in for its tune. So I took this bike in after installing an M4 Carbon Tech 1 full exhaust system and putting a Sprint uh, P08 air filter in the bike. Now the bike was tuned, the bike tuned well with Woolwich software. I made over 200 horsepower, smooth linear power and really happy with the ultimate numbers that the bike made for both horsepower and torque. Now after riding the bike for the majority of the summer last year, I started to realize some of the hiccups that I was running into with this platform and that's really what motivated me to revisit the tuner, revisit the dyno process and see if there were some things that were gonna surface to help me out. One of those situations was the bike had a really, 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 really 500 RPM swing in its idle. Super lumpy, like it had a really, really aggressive cam to it. I got to doing some research, talking to some people, watching some other YouTube content, and despite some YouTube creators and manufacturers claiming they offer an exhaust system that's gonna smooth out that lump in the idle, which I don't think exists. I got to talking with some other mechanics, some other tuners, and come to find out the solution was the throttle body vacuum pressure. Now, Ricardo over in New Jersey is another tuner, and I can leave again his contact information in the description below, but Ricardo pointed me towards, hey, when you get the bike in and you're getting ready to tune things, check out the vacuum pressure and make sure everything is equalized across all the cylinders. He said, I'm confident, I'm telling you, you're gonna have one cylinder that is not equal to the others. Well, we hooked up the uh, sync tool, uh, Dwayne Hoffer over at Hoffer Performance, got this thing all rigged up and sure shit, had a cylinder off. The other three, a little bit, but one cylinder, just as Ricardo said, was far off. We got all that set uh, and everything equalized. This bike idles smooth as butter now. The other situation that I ran into was when I would try to give the bike small throttle inputs, meaning five or 10% uh, going into a corner, coming out of a corner. I was getting an erratic, really an on off jerky feeling that I was not comfortable with, especially at high speed. And come to find out it had nothing to do with the tuning. Hoffer Performance, this thing is tuned smooth like butter. Ends up being the throttle tube. So the throttle tube on this bike, the plastic one that it comes with, has really more play than it should have. This bike is fly-by-wire, so there's really no cable in there that you can tighten up and take slack out of like most bikes, but a plastic tube with a couple notches that move around a servo thing. And those notches, they really don't have the spec that most of us probably want or the tolerances. So there's probably three or 4% of free play in the throttle. If you do the math here and you try to give a 5% throttle on or off, but there's 3% play, you're probably getting an 8% movement in either direction with that slop in there. What I ended up doing was picking up the Graves aluminum throttle tube for this bike. Graves Motorsport makes great products. This is another one. I put that on the bike, it is installed, and it eliminated virtually all of that slack. Now there is still a little bit in there, just like with the standard, you know, a setup that you have with a cable, you want a little bit in there, and that's what I've got now. So this bike, idle smooth now, throttle is on and off smooth now, and everything shakes out. We're still making over 200 horsepower, smooth power, everything is linear and great. Woolwich has software updates that really are the things that most of you may be wanting to hear about. If you've had your bike tuned last year, you know you can only really apply your tuning map to one of the modes on this bike, and that was it. Well now, just like most of the other bikes, the other platforms, Woolwich has got into that, and you can tune all of those different modes on this bike now, as well as some of the emissions things that we remove for off-road use, some of those things you still had to buy a plug-in kind of a bypass so you wouldn't get a check engine light. Woolwich has got updates with that where you can actually now disable those things as well as the front wheel speed sensor and some things like that to ease the tuning process. So if you've had your bike at the tuner or you've got access to get back to your tuner and you wanna get those updates, you might wanna give them a call. 
So that's that. I'm keeping it kind of short and sweet. We're making progress with the Gen 6 the ZX-10R. Things are warming up here in Michigan. I'm gonna have this thing on the road. I'm hoping in a week here to get some of that stuff, the king of the street stuff that you guys wanna see. So follow along, hit that subscribe button, do all that good stuff, check back in because the content's just gonna keep on getting better. Well, if you are riding, keep on riding. If you're hoping to get out and ride, see you out there soon. Mm -hmm.